guys, so I'm back with another unit by Etta Wig. She's called Edgar, and I'm wearing her in the color FF Honey Blonde. Now this one, I'm not that crazy about the color like I was about the first one. The color is really pretty, but I'm just not that crazy about it. You know, it's not like out of the ordinary, like the first one that I reviewed. Well, not the first one, but like the sunflower, you know? But anyway, the wig is pretty cute. What I love about it is that this hair is crazy soft and I say crazy soft because it's probably one of the softest hair I've ever felt while finger combing it I did get a few snags at first like at first at my first run through I did get a few snags like here and there but the hair is extremely soft like it snagged a little bit and then it just like my fingers passed through it. It snagged a little bit and my fingers passed through until like I was done everything and it, oh my god, it's really, really soft. I can't make this up. It's extremely soft. And because I had, normally I don't really put products on the, on the wig, but because I had the mousse here from the first one that I reviewed, I decided to put some mousse on this and it just kind of helped define the curls a little bit better because you know you have those waves to it. It's the waves almost like Gabriella, but just a little bit more defined, I would say. It comes with a sense of part. I did tweeze a tiny bit just from the front. I think I did a little bit too much, but however, I did a tiny bit just from the front to clear it up a little bit. It's not a lace front wig. It's a full wig. It just comes with a hand-tied lace parting. Didn't use any heat on it, but it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. So all I did was add powder to it. And like I said, I tweezed a tiny bit at the front and it came with baby hairs as well. So I just used... A little bit at the front as well so so this is it it comes with two combs on either side right here up front you have one at the back and the adjustable straps basic cap construction I would say medium in cap size be careful when you're purchasing these wigs because I don't feel like it doesn't feel like it's gonna stretch to fit like a large head size so really keep that in mind when you're purchasing but like I said this is crazy soft hair and I've never felt anything like it before now I'm pushing it. <laughs> now I'm pushing it. But no, it's crazy soft. It's really, really soft. Um, it has a really light yaki hair texture, which is good. I love the density on it as well. It's pretty full. Like you can see, look at this. You finger comb it. My fingers are running through it really easy. And it's pretty soft, okay? Pretty full. That's what I meant to say. It's pretty full. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this unit, leave it in the comment section down below. It comes in other colors as well. And I'll make sure to leave that in the description box down below. Okay, so now I'm seeing this says wet and wavy style. So I'm guessing this is part of the collection that I reviewed. If you guys keep up, I reviewed some of these a while ago, maybe a month or two ago. And it says wet and wavy, but it's not actually wet and wavy. So I'm thinking it just gives you that wet and wavy look. So I guess by me adding the mousse, it makes it look a little bit more wavy, which is cool. But you can't like add the, uh, the iron to it and then wet it and it's going to curl up again because it is synthetic. So keep that in mind. Do not go flat ironing this and then wet it and think it's going to come back. It's not going to come back. Just be careful and yeah, you could probably just add mousse to it when you want it to look, you know, to give it that wet and wavy look. Add some mousse and you'll be fine. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow us on all our social media accounts. Everything is at Wig Times and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye.